Hey y'all, hey, I know I'm late. Hey y'all, hey. Oh man, let me plug my, oh shoot, I gotta wait to, maybe, uh-oh, what's happening? Okay, now I'm live. Hey y'all, hey. Hi everybody. I know I'm late, but I'm here and we're gonna have this celebration and that's what we're gonna do. So I wanna say, first of all, I do not own the copyright to this music. Any music that you hear in the background, any sounds, any lyrics, any instrumental, I do not own the rights to this music. Any no-no, I don't own the rights to any noise she's making right now. But let's get ready for the celebration. We're getting it going. We got the diffuser. We got some lavender going. What we got in the diffuser, Britt? Some lemon. No, ice lemon biscotti. Okay, ice lemon. We fancy. Let me get it. Light it right here. We got some ice lemon, look, I'll let y'all see, some ice lemon biscotti in my brand new diffuser that brought me, but was it that nice? Okay, I'm going to gush over it later. So, let me get the music down in my phone, which looks like it got unplugged. Hold on, be right back. Okay, so I got the phone, and I will see... Brittany's getting the tea. We got this bright ass light. Let me get in the bar stool. Let me turn this down. We getting ready. I'm giving y'all a minute to come on in. I'm gonna tag some of y'all too. Thank you, Britt. No, just like a little, okay. We'll do this off camera. I don't wanna be a bad influence. A sprinkle. Okay, y'all yeah, gotta admit, cause you know I don't lie. Just a little bit of sugar. Cause I didn't have the honey. And I didn't have the stevie, the um, my all natural sweetener, so I just got a little bit of sugar today. All right, I'm in here. We here. It's the last day, the finale of. Okay, somebody came on. It's the finale of. I speak affirmations. Let's get it. But I got a special guest here today, Mrs. Murray Murray. <laughs> Mrs. Murray Murray, say hi, Brett. Hey, hey, look at how cute she hey. is. Hey. Look at her shirt. Freedom. Oh, kind free wait, free ish. Oh, since eight okay, get since 1865. She gonna get her bar suit and get over here with me. And um let's get into it. Okay, we doing our tea. Remember I told y'all bring a drink? I'm gonna tag some of y'all because I know y'all be like, why ain't you tag me? I don't wanna hear it. Here, look. I got the I Speaks cup on deck. And we just gonna have a good time, y'all. We made it very, very far. Let me see who I can tag. And I'm gonna say it on line so that y'all can't lie and say that I didn't tag y'all. Oh, I don't know. That's the thing. I don't know if I, see, I can tag them from my phone because I didn't go live from my phone. Oh. This is what I was trying to figure out. Now you see I'm not like, look at this. At the screen. Mm -hmm. How this is all that there is. Where would I tell the people to, you feel me? What you want to go up? Me? Hold on, y'all. Right up here in the comment section. Okay. Oh, no, let's see. Okay. That's just kind of, uh-uh. No, but like where would I tag them? You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's no way to really, well, right okay. here. Yeah. But that'll be them tagged on the post. That won't really be them tagged on the thing. I'm going to try, though, y'all. I'm going to tag some of y'all in here. And I'm going to tag Britt. I'm going to tag Angie. Because she's always down. I'm going to tag Robin. I'm going to tag Aaron. I'm going to just see. Who else can we tag? Oh, Jasmine. Okay, we can't forget it. Huh? Okay, Mama. Oh, they had a death in the family. So, she's like grieving. All right. Now, watch this, y'all. All right. I don't know if it tagged y'all or not. This is me and Britt. I don't know. 
Now I feel like I should be sitting here and you should be sitting here. Yeah. This is weird. Like when I talk, okay, I'm a, I guess I'm going to be talking like this to Britt. <laughs> you know, I'm all about the production. I'm going to produce. Maybe okay. you say over here, Britt. Okay. She's going to get over here. I'm right handed. So it's a little weird. She's going to get over here. Y'all come in. Let me see what's going on. Don't worry. It's going to get fun. This is her tea. Britt, tell them what we got. Oh my God, all that time it was on silent. Oh I am Lord. so sorry, y'all. Oh Lord. <laughs> all right, I got to redo everything again. All right. Sorry. Hello, sorry. It is the finale. Okay, we're going to have to skip five minutes. Tell everybody to skip five minutes. But it is the finale. The I Speaks Affirmation finale. Okay, this is our last day, our last affirmation of the month. And we're just ready to, I'm just um, doing the camera. We're just ready to get into it um, on today, okay? And so we're going to be doing our live affirmation. We're going to be talking a little bit about affirmations, manifestation. I'll probably tell a ratchet story. We're going <laughs> to laugh. We're going to drink some tea. This was bring your drink. So today, Brittany's going to tell you what we are drinking after I'm done because, you know, I'm just going to let her be talking today. And, um, yes, this is it. And what else did I want to tell y'all? So grab your wine, grab your beer, your cigar, your mimosa. <laughs> what else people drink? Moscato. Your coffee. Your, your coffee, your tea. Bring it all, everything. okay? All right. So I was trying to tag some of y'all into the post. Your cigar, your mimosa. Okay. We know it's working from this Moscato, end. I can't see any comments. Coffee, let me see if it will let me tag okay? from here, though. Y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. The if you don't, if you okay. don't start it here, no, you can't do it you here. Can still tag them in the comments and then yeah, I could. I think so. All right. Yeah, I can. She's so smart. She like, <laughs> Dad. She's smart. Let me put it on um, mute so it's no echo. All right. I know what the problem is. I can. She's so smart. All right, y'all. So it's no echo. Nope. I know what the problem is. It's not doing it. All right, I'm not going to talk. I'm almost done, y'all. Okay, Jasmine is in. Hey, Jazz. Hey, Jazz. Jazz, do me a favor. Tag some other people because you're an admin in the group. So just start tagging some people because, of course, um, from the computer, we're having a problem. We was, like, silent for, like, five whole minutes. <laughs> and I know you wasn't in here because you would have okay, told Jasmine us. Hey, Jazz. Okay. Jazz, do me a favor. Tag some All other right, we're going to get out of here. Brett, I'm going to turn this down. So See, it's people. not doing it. That's because I was in YouTube. All right, y'all, we just working out the little technical difficulty. Now y'all see, they really be happening. Everybody has, you know, little things. If you don't got no team, most of these people y'all see and they jump right on and they be talking and doing all of that. They, had they have a team. Yeah. They got an admin running defense. They got somebody working the lighting. You see, we just got the little ghetto lights. <laughs> just the light coming it's in. Okay. The sunlight <laughs> is going down. But listen, February, I'm time. coming strong with my ring light. Yes. I'm going to be on point. Y'all going to be like, oh, you look looking good on the camera. <laughs> You know, so, and tonight it's got a, I don't got the quarter thing, but no cussing, but I was going to put this on YouTube, so if I put it on YouTube, it can't be no cussing. If I slip up and do a cuss like I did in that last live, I couldn't put it up on YouTube, so, because they got all these rules. Like, I could put it up, but my video won't be monetized, and you know we can't have that, okay? Got to be monetized. So I got to watch my mouth. I like this. Mm -mm. <laughs> We're gonna keep this one on here, and I'm gonna wait till I get the ring light. Oh, okay. and VQ over there okay. at the down to the YouTube. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm still gonna watch myself, but yeah. Know. So um, I'm gonna just go in here for comments. So who's in? Say hi. Tell us hi, hi, hi. Throw up your yellow hearts. Yes. Know. Throw up your yellow hearts in the building. 
Okay. Um, oh, you tagged Mario. Okay. I didn't really tag her because I was going to let her rest today. Um, yeah, I tagged some. Okay. Anyway, they will come in here on the replay. So what we, we can start talking first and then I do the affirmation later because I really wanted to do that with, you know, a few of y'all. But it is Sunday. I know a lot of people are with their families on Sunday. And then the ones yeah. that are not with their family do football. I don't do football no more because I'm not married no more. But when I was <laughs> married, every Sunday was football Sunday. Till it was, oh, we were like pregame, game season, and postgame. Like, when is this shit over? I'd be thinking, oh, my God. <laughs> When, and I hated it, but I had to do it because, you know, I had to have a bonding activity with him. So this is funny. I used to be pretending I really knew, like, go Johnson! But I never knew nothing that was yeah. happening on the field to I'm this day. Right? You go somewhere else with it. We yeah. Go somewhere else. And I used to ask we him, go, like, can I you explain it? Do you understand it? No. Okay, I don't understand. Why won't men don't explain it to like, us? I try to. I don't even fake like I know. <laughs> I won't know. I'm just trying to figure out why he would get so agitated when I would be like, can you explain it to me? Like, I guess the same way, you know, if people that don't play spades, uh, you know, right. when you ask how to play, they always be like, uh, you don't play, but they don't never tell you how to play. So then I, I fake like you. I can play that too. Like right. people, I'd be like, yeah, spades, I know spades. <laughs> but I still don't know spades. I'm almost a half a century Living in a black community, like that's really. Girl, you come down. To I, 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 done, I done came out today, y'all. I really <laughs> don't know. I know for all the people. Let me make my disclaimer because I know I used to. All right, it's out. When I was younger, for the people that know, I used to. I know for a few of y'all, especially y'all gentlemen, I used to be saying I was at the spades game, but now you know I really wasn't. <laughs> okay, because. That was a whole lie. I really wasn't. <laughs> Probably nine times out of ten. I, I had another boyfriend. It's okay now. But I didn't want you to know at the time. So that's why I said I was at my cousin Latifah's, who lived a county away, by the way. You should have known that. You should. You got to be smarter than that. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, clues, and I was at Tifa's. I see, like, I'm at Tifa's. Wait, wait. No, and I wasn't at no damn tea. I'm down to Reggie's. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you know who you are if that hurts you. But it's <laughs> the truth. And let the truth set us free. We ain't right. together no more. So it's okay. Me and Reggie didn't work out anyway. He was just a work boyfriend. <laughs> Don't even be mad about it. He wasn't even, you know, I just had to keep a couple on the team. Because I wasn't really <laughs> sure about you. So I had to keep a couple on the team. You feel me? Anyway, I told y'all we was going to be having a racket story <laughs> somewhere in the there context. You know. <laughs> Thank God for these affirmations that I'm right. not who I used to be, sister. Yeah, yeah. Right? <laughs> How far no, no, to no. that? Okay? I'm not no, who I used no. to be. Okay? All right. So, anyway, yeah. after I got down from Reggie <laughs> and the face face game. Face. Okay. Today, we are reading It Ain't Over. It ain't over it ain't. to all y'all. Who else came in? I see somebody else came, and sometimes you gotta refresh, refresh it, y'all. You know, you already know, Britt. Britt's gonna work my phone today, yeah. so I won't get distracted with the comments, but she can still read me the comments. All right, so today we do it. It ain't over. And this is hey, the Angie. The, hey, Angie. This is the La Angie. I was telling a ratchet story, girl, about <laughs> when I was down. To Reggie's lion saying I was down to my cousin Latifah's. Y'all got to hear that funny stuff. Hopefully, y'all have some more funny <laughs> ones to tell y'all tonight. Red, we should have sure enough had our special thing ready for us. You know what we like to do. I got it. <laughs> Red says she yeah, got it. We, okay, it's okay. a celebration. We came, we came here with It's a celebration. Let y'all. We got it. The Tell them, Brad. energy tea. Yes. Do you see this? Get you some of that, y'all. Yes. Spicy hibiscus. Mm. Awesome. Okay. Baby, we, we got go. some extra ganda in here. Mm. We're going to be like Auntie Tab. Ooh, <laughs> you see this? Baby. You see yes. it? And then we got that immune stress. Come on now. Elderberry, liver balm. Baby, That's what I needed, baby. We, we done mixed them together, y'all. We done mixed them together. We done mixed them together. We Look, making our own shit. We making our own because we celebrating. Yeah, this is how we do. We just <laughs> two bad. black girls here in this world. <laughs> you know, oh, we cussed? I did. Damn. Oh, I said damn. <laughs> 
We was going to do a quarter of cuss because y'all know this can't go down to YouTube if we yeah. cuss. So, oh, we well, I guess it won't be going to February. February, catch me. We we really going to do better, y'all. Plus, I'm, I'm going to start having, oh, let me get my list. Y'all wait here with Brittany. Okay. I got to get my little list. Yes. Hey y'all, what y'all doing today? Hey Miss Ella, how you doing? I gotta see how to wave. Oh, you got to wave from here. Let's do that. We wave, Miss Ella. Okay, y'all, she's going to be back. <laughs> okay, y'all, I'm back. I'm back, y'all. Now, listen. I'm going shopping soon, so don't even worry about it, okay? <laughs> I know I said, y'all like, what she got on? Wasn't it just a blizzard? She got on short sleeves, short, well, short you know, sleeves, a tank top. It was not a blizzard, it was a dust. <laughs> oh, here it was a dust. Yes. But yeah. you know, back where I'm from in New Jersey, they got like a little, yeah, they, they inside the house. <laughs> they did what we did, and we got like we a little dust. This. All we right, y'all. That's all we need. So this is what, okay, Brett, we got to get the camera right. Okay, y'all, so I'm back. Hey, Robin. So, hey, Robin. Hey, Robin. Who else came in while I was going? Miss Ella. Miss Ella. Hey, Miss Ella. Listen, we was telling ratchet stories. We didn't leave y'all out. We didn't even get to the affirmation. We got to have a little Sunday fun down here. Yes. So we was telling the little stories, and we was getting our little celebration together. What y'all got to drink? Because I told y'all to bring something to drink. Now, we, we, I got something to drink, but we ain't <laughs> drinking that. We drinking some. Well, we drinking again. Britt has bought some beautiful immunity stress tea. That was and really positive for me. Energy. And positive energy. And we mixed them together. Yes. Because I was going to get on here and make the same thing she bought, which was so crazy, but I was going to make it, you know, with the we real tea leaves. We never talked about it. She just was like, you want to, you would like these teas? And I was like, yes. This is so wonderful that she's here because I didn't get on. Did we get on yesterday? We didn't get on yesterday, I don't think. Mm -mm. No, I did. One of the days I did audio. But listen, yeah. that's what I want y'all to do. I want y'all to go back. All right, so let's do this. First of all, I want to say thank you to everybody who participated in the 30-Day I Speaks Challenge. And for everybody who didn't get the book, you know, you can get the book after. It's okay. You can go through this book 30 and 30 and 30 and 30 days. Now, let me show you this. Now, I told you I no, no, I tried to eat the table of contents, so that's why it's out. But it has a wonderful table of contents, right? And it tells you the day. So you might look at, like I'm seeing right now, what stuck out to me was day 11, which is I am wellness. So I might just want to read, you know, I am wellness. Or I might just want to read a fire is in your heart. Or, you know, it's very topical. I'm a topical writer, so I can write topics to topic to topic. So you can just go in it and you can pick out whatever topic you want. I don't want you to stop because we are on day 30. Um, the whole point was that we would do this for the month of January to get us kind of revved up because, you know, every January people make these fake, right, fake, mm -hmm. they make these fake resolutions no and all this stuff, goals that they never no stick happens. to, that never happens and all like that. So I wanted us to do this to I get us, you used to be there, <laughs> yeah. right, to get us revved up because, as I say, affirmations is not a magic trick. It's not a magic trick at all. It is something that you actually um, have to do and have to participate in to see anything manifest in your life. So I wanted to just say thank you to everybody. I'm so excited about the people that are. Now, I used to focus a lot on the people that weren't. Mm -hmm. Like, I'd be like, oh, the ones that are not doing it and they're not participating. But now I, I, I'm not doing that. We're focusing on the ones that are. So I'm grateful to everybody who is participating in the group, who's giving it out with the yellow hearts. I know we yes. yellow hearts gang gang over here okay. and I got a big announcement about Yellow Hearts Gang Gang coming up okay. and um, I got some tissue on deck for tears but right now my nose is running so anyway um, 
to all of the people that are participating, are saying something, not being shy. Because being shy, to tell you the truth, is not going to get you anywhere in this group. And if you a wall watcher, you just over here. Because I know it's some of y'all in the bushes, you know, my flatterers or fans that I like to call them that are just here to basically get information. Then they go back to their little thing and do what they do. It's some of them. It's some haters in here. It's some of everybody. I like to keep everybody. A good diversity <laughs> of everybody in here. It's some family members in here, I'm sure. It's some, um, you know, ex-lovers, <laughs> you know, could be in the bushes. You know, just could be anybody. This group is still public. I was supposed to make it private January 1st, but I decided to keep it public because um, of my other book that came out the affirmations book and I wanted to them to be included too. So they'll they're still adding, but we're still fairly a little community, which is we're little but we're big in spirit, which right. is I think we're up to 132 people today. Now what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna be making Brit the next admin. Jasmine Smith was the first admin because we couldn't get Brit that day. But Brit is here. She's gonna be the second admin. I'm gonna have her go through and get rid of anybody that doesn't have a profile that looks suspicious. You just lurking in the bushes and we're getting rid of your ass because we're going forward and we really don't need any negative. In it. Like it, you could be in another group and just wall watch. Why be? This is an interactive group where we're going to be doing a lot of stuff. And that's what I want to talk about first um, before our um, before I read the affirmation. OK, and then we just going to have some conversation. Is that good? Okay, then we're going to have some conversation, and that's going to be that. Okay, so for February, as you all know, um, affirmations is about more than what we say. Mm -hmm. It's about what we do. And so what we are going to be doing here is we're doing a juice cleanse for the first five days of February. Well, really, we're starting on the first, which is a Tuesday. So it's going to be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And Sunday will be, yeah, Sunday will be the sixth day, but like the fifth day, however you count it. And our juice cleanse is not, um, you know, a fasting type of thing. Oh, we're just going to be on juices and we're going to be hungry. We're going to be starving and all like this. We don't do that <laughs> over here. Guess what? We're going to be eating meals. We could have a few chicken wings with it. You know what I mean? Right. A few ribs coming down to say, you know, we're going to be Lamb still chops, eating. You know. <laughs> the whole point is we're going to replace some of our meals with, with the juice. The juice. In, right? So I, what I'm going to do is probably my biggest meal I eat is like lunchtime because lunch. I go to dialysis before lunch. So I will probably do a dinner and a breakfast fast and make sure that I'm continuing to eat and lunch. However, what I want to do, and I'm going to talk about this in full um, tomorrow, um, on Tuesday um, and Thursday, I'm sorry, Tuesday and Wednesday, which are the first, the first day we're going to try to do juice. Okay. If you can, if you can't, then don't worry about it, but I'm going to do the first day and it's going to be all juice. Now, if you have a juicer, great. That's what we want. Cause we want to extract all of the nutrients. But if you don't have a juicer, guess what? Get to a juicing place and grab a cold pressed juice. Go to Whole oh, Foods, go to Walmart, go to get a blender, do a smoothie. I'm going to be doing both. Okay. Yeah. Now with the juicer that extracts all of the nutrients out with the blender that kind of blends everything up. So you still have nutrients, but they don't um, hit your bloodstream as fast as you know, we would like and all like that. But everybody doesn't have that. You might not have none of them. So guess what? Go down to the Walmart and get you a cold pressed juice, right? And if you can't do that, I'm sorry, go to Whole Foods. They got the cold pressed juice. And if you can't do that, go down to the Walmart and get you a suja. S-U-J-A. I like suja. I don't do naked and none of them. I feel like they still have a lot of preservatives and um, additives and different things in there. I think if I'm going to do a juice that is bottled, um, you know, or use a local juice company that you have, you can do that too. I'm certainly going to be doing that because if you think I'm going to be cutting up blueberries right. and <laughs> kale and all of that. I'm not doing none of that. When we get done, I'm, I'm going down there and I'm going to be getting for the first two days. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have juice the first day and then for the other two days, I'm going to have fruits and vegetables. Just juice, fruits, and vegetables for the next two days. Then on the third day, I'm going to do, and don't worry, all of this, I'm going to lay it out for you tomorrow. I'm just letting you know now. It's going to be fruits, vegetables, and soup. So when I have the meal, it's going to be soup. 
so that my body is having a chance to relax, it's having a chance to get filled up with minerals and supplements, and that's what I'm going to do for the next two days. And then on the last day, which is Sunday, that's when I'm going to incorporate a meal. So it's going to be a mixture. See, it always says this. If it goes out, y'all, we'll be back. Oh, y'all just come back. Because sometimes it can act, you know, real stupid. We'll come back on, on the phone or something. All right, so... Um, that's what we're going to be doing for February. And then another fun thing we're going to be doing is called an hour of still, which is like a meditation, but we're going to be together doing it. So it's just going to be one hour of still. We're going to pick a day. I'm going to pick a day, probably a Sunday, and we're just going to lay there. And I'm probably going to do a guided meditation through our still, or we'll have a guided meditation. The reason why... I was reluctant to do one, you know, someone else's is because, you know, Facebook this way. Facebook has got um, all these uh, rules that they will shut it down with other people's stuff on it. So I'll probably just do a guided meditation so it stays as original content. So we're going to be doing an hour of still. That's fun. And we're going to be doing it in our pajamas. And everybody's got to come up with, you know, like, oh, my God, it was hard for me or it wasn't hard for me. We're going to have some conversation around that. See, this is an interactive group. Mm -hmm. So if you're on here and you, you just think we just going to be, you're going to be here every day. I'm going to be giving an affirmation and that. <laughs> it's not never going to happen. So. Miss Ella said she got a juicer. Okay, Miss Ella's got so a juicer. She's ready. She is ready. For All right, get it. Get it, Ella. She said this is very motivational. Okay, great. Thank you and so she much. she's drinking Yogi Pete. Okay, all right now. I love the yogis. Yogis is great. And, um, okay, so we're going to be doing the hour of still, the cleanse. And also, speaking of tea, we're going to be doing the tea time. Okay. I thought that would be cute. Yes. So yes. we're going to gather yes. around. Now, we're going to do real teas, y'all. I want y'all to get some real teas. Now, the tea lady, she was in the room. <laughs> Robin Ransom. Y'all get on her head. She got a tea company called Tea Joy. Where she sells subscription boxes of tea. Oh. And she also does, okay, don't get me to mess it up, tea formations. Like affirmation, joy formations. Because okay. the company is Tea Joy. So I believe it's joy formations. Oh. And she's got these cute little boxes. Y'all okay, get down with Robin. Try. She's another one of my longtime daughters. And she's doing the damn thing. Yeah, you know, I just setting Harlem a Burleys. Maybe Robin can hook us up with the teas. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, we can just all do. I wanted her to really come in and do. She doesn't know it. But <laughs> her to uh, lead that session um, when we do our tea formations. So it's going to be like tea times and tea formations, okay. right? And then I thought right. maybe like the fourth week we could just do. <laughs> no, no, it's trying to get out, y'all. We could just do, um, we could just do like, um, like a random. Like a pop-up. You know what I'm saying? Y'all just pop up and Aaron I don't tell y'all what to say. Aaron's on? Aaron calling. Oh, Aaron's calling y'all. Okay, so we could do a pop-up and um, y'all can just pop up and say, you know, whatever you need to say, right? So that's going to be really, really fun. So that's what we got planned for y'all. For February, I'm going to be going live with more y'all. You know, you see Britt is over here. I'm going to be having, you know, you saw Jasmine check in and out. Aaron's going to be with us, some of the girls. And if you want to join me at any time, let me know, and I can always bring you in. Now, I believe, Brittany, try it from your phone. I'm going to okay. see if Brittany can, um, like, if she wants to be added to here from okay. her phone, if it'll work. Like, if she, did it before. if she joins. Yeah, but I was on my phone that day that we did it. Yeah. Okay, and so that's February, and that's what we're going to be doing. All right, let me see some of y'all comments. The meditation is hard for me. Me too, Ella. Meditation is very hard for me. That's why I do it a different way. I don't do it like everybody else. I do it in a way where it's easier for me. And I do a lot of breathing through it. Okay, so it said Brittany is watching, but try to add yourself. Like, I got to add you. Let me see something, y'all. Hold on. I'm going to go down to Brittany and see. Um, I'm going down to the comments. Do, 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 do. All right, here they go, the comments, y'all. Now I'm going to see. You made a comment, Britt? Hold on. Okay. No, make a comment. Once she makes a comment, I'm going to see, can I add her? Oh, a Breville juicer. Okay, Ella said, how much was that Breville juicer, Ella? Was it a lot? Because I'm looking to get a new one. I want to know some good ones. All right, see? Nope. We can't even add um, Brett. 
in this one, which is crazy. Yeah. It's real crazy, y'all, because I want to add y'all, you know, into this. So you can only add from the From here, yeah. Okay. The, only from the app, it seems like. You know, we learn things every day, you know. All right, so um, let's get into this affirmation. And then what should we do to... Should we sing? <laughs> what do we do at the beginning or at the end? <laughs> Happy birthday. To, that's the wrong song, y'all. Come on, I need You're a celebration. Oh, get one. We can get one, y'all. We need a, you know, we need, don't cut, we need a trap music one. Oh, okay. Don't play with me, Brittany. <laughs> y'all know how I get down. We need a celebration song. Oh, maybe we should have went with the cool in the game. Celebrate okay. good time. Come on. Do, 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 do. Stand up. Come on, y'all. I know I'm showing my age, but y'all young people heard celebration before. Down to the cookout. Don't act right. crazy. Here we go. <laughs> All right, Brittany got it. Again, we don't own the copyright. We don't own oh, own hey. Hey, come on, y'all. Celebrate good time. We have two caps. Come on, where's the drunk uncle in the corner? Y'all know <laughs> Uncle Bobby over there, Uncle Leroy. <laughs> Who won the hot dogs? Who won the crab? <laughs> Celebrate. Come on. Celebrate good time, come on. Wait, you ain't know nothing. You don't know nothing about it. Ooh, don't make me do the bump. Bump, 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 bump. Bump, bump, bump. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> All right, y'all. Woo! <laughs> that was it. I don't know how I used to go song for song, but song for song for song. <laughs> like, I could do a half of a song now. <laughs> I'm good. You know, just a half. Now, if I'm on the couch, I might go a good one and a half. You feel me? But the couch ain't here. And that's a whole nother. <laughs> Tell you a story for a whole... I might tell it to you, but just not to that. <laughs> All right, let's get into this affirmation. If it ain't over, we're going to get through to it. Whoever's coming through. Okay, this is... We got... And then I want to talk to y'all about some products, too. I know a lot of y'all have asked me about them. Tomorrow is the last day. I'm doing like a one-day giveaway sale for the rest of what's here for the new year. And I'll explain to you why we have to get rid of it, Okay. It's the 30th, I believe tomorrow is the 31st, and then the first is Tuesday, right? Okay, so I'll explain to you the energy behind that. So the, now they want to mow the grass? Like, this is ridiculous. It ain't over. So this is page 87, y'all. And then after you get out of 87, just so you know, that's where the little you did it completion is. And then a little, you know, uh, little small bio about me. This ain't, my bio is like four pages long, you know, but I was on some humble. So mm -hmm. just a little, little bit. All right. So let's get it um, 87. So it says, may this affirmation encourage you on today. It ain't over. Nothing is more powerful than you. The strength of the divine is always within you. Many of you have gone through a lot of S-H-I-T and you feel like there is nothing left. But I am here to tell you that it's not the end. Giving up is not an option. Take heart, gather your strength, keep praying, keep pushing, and you will make it through. You shall recover it all. Nothing is lost. All is transformed. Now let's get into this affirmation. Can you close that door for me? We're just going to close the door, y'all. It's way too loud. Get a little sippy sip. Let me see what's going on in the comments. Comments. You know, they decide today, all of a sudden, that was strange. That they just want to, what, just do some lawn work? 
We was getting it right, Ella. Okay. Oh, it was an average 200. She said her juice was about 200. Yeah, right. I'm not looking to spend more than that. But I do want to get a very, very good, powerful one. The one I used to have was the Jack LaLanne one. And I thought out of all of the juicers that that was really the best, the Jack LaLanne one. And, you know, he was known for juicing and lived well into his 90s, almost 100, Jack LaLanne lived. All right, so our affirmation is, it is not over for me. I understand that giving up is not an option. I am powerful and strong. I am greatness. Repeat it. I am greatness. My future is bright. I am destined to have a great future. I deserve a great future. I shall recover it all. This is not the end for me, even though it may feel like it at times. I will not be led in my life based off of mere feelings and emotions. I understand that feelings are not actual facts and they are subject to change frequently. I do not make impulsive emotional decisions. <laughs> I balance my emotions and manage my feelings. I watch over my ear gates and eye gates so that I do not ingest negative things that might try to get into my subconscious mind. I choose to have a positive mindset. I choose to have a positive perspective. I choose to be happy. I choose to embrace and face my future. I choose to live up to every ounce of my divine potential. I choose to let go of anything that is ending that needs to go and that no longer serves me. I choose to have people around me that will not let me give up think negatively or sabotage my own progression. I choose to have an abundant life and I choose to embrace my new beginning. And then the next page says, you did it. You just completed the 30 day affirmation journey. Don't stop now, keep speaking your truth. And that's where we want to end off today or talk about today, start off on today is about speaking um, your truth, always speaking your truth. Again, I'm so excited. I can't believe it. It feels like, you know, I didn't really think that I could get through it. Because first of all, I knew I wasn't going to be on it every day. <laughs> I knew that from the door. But I was like, okay, let me try. And it's not because I didn't want to. It's just because I knew some days I probably wasn't going to be feeling well. I didn't know how that was going to go. And I know a lot of people like to do times. But I'm more of a spontaneous person. So I may do it at 8 o'clock one day in the morning, and it may be 12 o'clock the next day, and it may be nighttime the next day. So it's just all, you know, how I feel. So I wasn't real confident, right? But I did, but I was like, I'm going to do it. I'm just going to do it because I got to prove to myself that I can do it, and I got to be with my community and do it with them and let them know that I am with them. You know, I had a conversation with someone today. And we were talking about how people get on here and they're always like trying to gimmick you and trick you and sell you shit and all this. And I was saying, I really don't have a problem with that because people know me, they like me and they trust me. Mm -hmm. And I spend more time uh, building my communities, which I have a lot of different communities. I have a community here, I have communities on Instagram, I have communities on YouTube. They all serve different purposes. All the people are different, you know. Um, like how I talk to y'all, I don't get on Instagram and talk to them like that because it's a whole different flow. And then the YouTube people, they're a whole different flow. And so um, I didn't really know how that was going to weigh out. But I do spend a lot of time building my communities. And even when I'm um, mentoring people in business, I tell them, you have to spend the first 12 months nurturing your community. Right? You have to get them to, to do those three things I just told you. Right? A little business lesson. To know you to like you and to trust you. And once they know you, they like you and they trust you, you won't have a problem. You can get up there and say, <clears throat> listen, y'all, I got these napkins. These napkins <laughs> are going to be great for affirmations in March. I need y'all to get these napkins. Somebody's going to buy the napkins, not because the napkins are even going to do what I said, but because they what? They know me, they like me, and most of all, they trust me, right? So I don't take that trust for granted. I'm very big on loyalty integrity and character. I'm still here in the game 30 years later 
And that's because of loyalty, character, and integrity. It's not because of how pretty I am and how smart I am and how much money I have. It's none of that, right? Because those things will only take you so far. It's really my heart is here with the people. My heart has always been here with the people. And it's going to be with the people. You know, I'm interested in building community around what you need. Not around what I think that you need. That's the difference. People can come on and they can talk. And I could do that every day because I could talk you up under a bus. But it can't just be about what I think that you need. It has to be what you really need. And that's why I have to listen to the needs of what you're, what are you saying? Are more people in here saying I need more the motivation? Are they saying I need more inspiration? Are they saying I really can't do it? I'm struggling. I'm having a hard time, you know, or this is really helping me, you know, uh, we, you know, so then I know what to give you, you know, and also spoon feeding. One thing that I'm good at is I can, and, that, and when I first started writing, let me tell you a little story. When I wrote my first book, which was A Real Woman's Guide to an Almost Perfect Life, which talked about a real woman, it was a real woman's guide to an almost perfect life. Not the perfect life that people think that you have, but it was like an almost perfect life, which really wasn't perfect at all, right? It's a little dichotomy in there. And when I first wrote that book, where was I going with this? I, okay, this is one of those moments. Where was I going? Y'all tell me. I was telling you about when I first wrote the book. Hell, I don't know. It, it slipped me. It, it, it slipped through me. It was something. It was a real good point about the real woman's guide. It, I'm sure it was about community. But anyway. That's what you was talking right. about. Building your I was talking about building community. I, I don't even remember. The trust. But... Yeah. So anyway, let's just move on. I don't know where I was going with that book. But um, yeah, so the trust. So I'm very interested in um, your needs and knowing what it is that you need so that I can know how to move us forward. It's not really about views and clicks because I could, guess what? At the end of the day, really, I could buy views and clicks. If I wanted it to say 5000 up here, it would tomorrow, right? And I go and I do, like, everybody knows how to, um, uh-oh. Okay, we're still up. Everybody knows how um, to do that. So I'm interested. You have to let me know, though. I'm not, although I am prophetic, you know, I do I have a gift, a, whatever you want to call it, a psychic ability, a intuition, although I do have that gift, I'm not around here guessing, you know, pulling out. What do they need? Let me know. You have to let me know. Although I know, like a mother knows, you know, what her children need. I'm not calling you my children. Some of you are my spiritual children, you know, in that way, but I'm not calling you children in a disrespectful way. I'm just saying like a leader knows what their people should know. Um, the cover frame is too low. Please set the frame rate to 15 to 60 for viewers. I don't know what they're talking about. Like it's all, okay, hold on y'all. Let me go in the settings and see. Stream. Stream. Yeah. Stream. Okay. Embedded code, unpublished, after the video and Got a camera controls. Yo, this is some new thing that Facebook embedded in here, y'all. And I, I really don't like it. Okay, here it go. No, that's it again. Too low FPS. We trying to get it right. I'm just going to leave it. Because I've learned that if you... Uh-oh. What happened now? Come back. Yeah, he's still up. I know, but I want to come back big. Go ahead, you try. Mm -mm. No, don't end it. No. Okay. No, don't okay. leave the page. Cancel. Okay. Yeah, now come back up. Let me go to view. Okay, maybe it's back up here, y'all. Dashboard. Okay, we're back. <laughs> Honey. Is about well, we've been on here 43 minutes and it's looking like it's trying to do something real stupid. Mm -hmm. So, if it does, we'll be back. But anyway, I just want to have a little conversation about affirmations. I'm gonna let Brittany do some talking and um, share whatever she wants to share. You know, she doesn't know what <laughs> I'm gonna, and I like to do it like that, spontaneous because when you know, then you try to prepare for the questions mm -hmm. and whatever, and it's not authentic. So, I'm just gonna let her share whatever she wants about. Um, uh, just share about affirmations, your affirmation journey, you know, where you are, how this can benefit people, or how it has benefited you, and on and on. I'm going to go over here and run defense. 
Okay. <laughs> so, um, this is my first month doing affirmations. I didn't do it every, um, every day. Talk loud. I didn't do it every day, but um, every day that I could get on, or I come back and watch the um, the replay, I have seen a big change because um, my thoughts, my thought habits, before they was more negative, um, but now it's all positivity because I see a difference in myself with um doing the affirmations and speaking life into me because if i don't who else will you know so this i speak journey i speak affirmations has done been so great for me in my situation and um and trying to change my outlook or working on myself my inner self and changing my inner thoughts to positive ones. So, how do you feel? Hold on, y'all. Okay, that's not my. So, how do you feel about um, community? You know, how does it fit? You know, versus doing this journey by, by yourself, yourself, yeah, and and doing like, it in a community. With this community, it's it's been. The change I needed, like from us starting out together, mm -hmm. from just me, you, and Aaron, mm -hmm. and how he's grown to us over online on Facebook, touching even more people, mm -hmm. making it holding, getting that support from other people to hold you accountable. Yeah, I, I and think that's what make the difference. Yeah, I, I think that's important too because um, even with me myself, right? Because if there's no people, then there can't be any of this. So right. at the same time, I'm holding you accountable. You're holding me accountable exactly. too. If you don't show up, exactly. then I'm like, well, what the hell I'm going to show up for? And that's why I always tell you, send some energy. If you mm -hmm. can't say something, put a yellow heart. It may be just a yellow heart. I'm thinking I'm having a mental health day today, which happened one of these days to Real soon ago, right. which was probably like yesterday. Real soon ago, I'm like, mm -mm, I'm canceling everything. I'm having a mental health day. But then somebody pull up yellow hearts. Go, girl! You know, and then I feel the, the strength. Yeah. yeah, the motivation that keep I going. need at the same time to keep going. So community is very important, you know. And I find that now, and and, I, and even with the leader, you know, you find well, one of the things that, you know, my counselors and elders always tell me is like, Malika, you have to lean into community at this particular time in your life because you need the strength, you know, mm -hmm. to be able to go on and carry on. Right. So it is just great having a community of women who for the first time and I've been doing this a very long time having a community of women who give something back it's nothing like having a community of women like I've I, and I'm no cap like I've probably taught thousands of women meaning mm -hmm. the hundreds that I've taught and then the hundreds that they have taught right but very few of them have given back have it has been a reciprocal relationship like I could look around and name probably right now at the top of my head seven millionaires that I helped to put in the making right to help them get big and boo I could probably maybe two boo of them have said my name and not that I need affirmation or validation but it still feels feel good appreciated. yo she put me on I remember I had two cents Malika she put me on yo you know what I mean I didn't have the money for the program she let me come to her program for free or you know whatever it was you know so but now I have a group of community around me that I have locally right and you know I, I minister to women all around the globe you know even in other countries but women that I have locally who say hey what you need like Brit today what what is never a time where she come and doesn't say, what can I stop by and get you before I come? Or what do you need? Or, you know what I'm saying? Like I was saying on our post the other day, she's loyal, she's caring, she's solid. These people care about not just myself, but everything attached to me, which is my children, you know, and my grandchildren. And I'm so grateful for that because for years, I've been in Charlotte now, um, 10, 10 years in December. So uh, for nine of the 10, I had no community. 
You know, and I had people that I knew, quote unquote, from in my church mm -hmm. and when I was in the organized religion, other people that so called checked on me. And as long as I was down and out, busted and disgusted, needed hospital visits or a chicken or a gallon of milk, they was good, you know? But when I started, when they started, because see, everybody didn't come in on uh, chapter one. So they don't know my history. Like, damn, she wasn't a bum before we met her. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? They just come into what part? Like, she down bad, boy. We And people feel good when they can help you when you down bad. But they never imagined, I guess that's the best way to say that, that I would get back up. They didn't know that the warrior was in me and that mm -hmm. I had more than li nine lives. And I was going to get up and up and up and up and up. And I'm still not, you know, up as much as, as, as I could be. But I'm damn sure not will I, where I used to be. So I'm grateful for this community of women. I try to give everybody their flowers while they're alive. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And let them know I appreciate that this is good. And never take it in vain. Now, I can be hard on them. They know that. But that's because I'm not, not going to baby no grown-ass women and no grown-ass people. I'm going to help them. I'm not the type of leader that has people dependent on me. There are a lot of leaders that want to just give you enough so that you, they give you enough so that you could come back and ask them for more, mm -hmm. right? They keep you dependent on them, but I don't keep anybody around me dependent on me. I'm like, you're going to jump over here and you're going to run down the street. Right. What? And my drawers naked? Yes. in your drawers naked. Mm -hmm. When you get back, I want you to go down to the store and stop. What? In the ice? Yes. In the ice. And then come back. You know what I mean? They know they're going to have, they're going to have it real and they're going to have it raw. Right. And they're going to be motivated to jump over to the next step. And then when they look back, they're going to be like, damn, I did that by myself. And so that way they're not dependent on me and sucking all of my energy. But they're actually, guess what? When I'm down, able to give me, reciprocate back right. some of my energy. I had a uh, meeting with one of my counselors the other day, one of the elders in my life. And he was saying, um, isn't it beautiful that when you're down, like, you can call on some of your girls and they can actually give you something back. And I'm like, yeah, they're giving me back what I've given to them. Mm -hmm. So that's what a real leader, I believe a leader makes other leaders, right? When you are mentoring, when I'm mentoring, that's how I look. I don't really like the whole leader thing, but I understand that I am a leader, right? And I don't bow down from that. But more mentoring is my vocabulary, right? So when I'm mentoring these women in my community, it's just to create a higher version of themselves. So that they could be a better version of themselves, not a greater version of me or not a version of me. Because that happens a lot of times when you have babies or people that who are just getting on and they're learning different things. They don't know anything else but you. Like a mom, like a baby knows it's mommy. So it's going to be dependent on the mommy. I know the mommy smell. I know what the mommy's going to look like. I know what the, you know. And so they'll tend to put pieces of you on them. And at first, that's fine. You want them to have pieces until it's like giving them floaties until they can swim. But eventually, you have to be strong enough of a leader, a mentor, a trainer, a teacher to be, we're not doing the floaties anymore. You're going to float on your back to that. Or it's just some of them I just drop out the nest. They don't even know it's coming. Boom. You go, we're not doing that no more. Well, we know we used to do it. No, you, you don't get that anymore because you have to be a big girl now, you know, because there are big things coming in front of you. And so... um that's the way I like to teach and train. And I also like to do it by, um, I feel like I'm, and I'm going to let Brittany share what <laughs> she feels, but I like to, to uh, train by example. Like, I don't want you to ever feel like you're doing it alone. And I never try to tell you anything that I haven't gone through. Right. Which is why I'm always like, gather around everybody, boys and girls. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you my own personal stuff. I'm not afraid of that. A lot of people are afraid of their truth, so they don't share it. Right. Because they're like, ooh, I was a prostitute. I can't tell that. Mm -hmm. You know, I just told you I was down to <laughs> Reddy's, lying, saying I was down to <laughs> Tifa's, playing phrase that I still don't know how to play. And Latifa, I'm sorry I had to use you if you watching, cuz, but I had to do it. Because I didn't, I was like, who could play? Because I knew you could play cards good, and if they ever fact-checked, I was smart. <laughs> If they, I know y'all did play cards. I just wasn't there. So what I said that I was. So I apologize to my cousin Latifa right now. I apologize to that gentleman. Who I kept telling he was taking me over to Latifa. I apologize to Reggie because I was really over your house and saying I was over to Latifa. But I'm not afraid to share any of my truths if that can help anybody yeah, along yeah. the way, right? And we can laugh about it. I'm not afraid to cuss. I'm not afraid to to laugh. I don't get on here all stuffy. Now, 
I don't want y'all to ever get it twisted. Malika can put it on. Okay, I can put it on. I know I, I grew up in New Jersey. The fashion capital, right next to the fashion capital. You know how we get down. If I wanted to just go on my, what I'm supposed to be doing, y'all got to hold me accountable. After March, I said, once a week, I just going to put on heels okay. and just walk around the house cute. Same okay, Same so y'all got to hold me. I might get on live and do it. <laughs> on YouTube, that'll be a good one for YouTube. Because um, I don't get dressed up anymore because of dialysis, mm -hmm. right? Which is why I kind of break, um, you want to share um, our love story? <laughs> Britt is going to share a little bit of our love story, how we met, which is kind of how we connect. You know, as much of it as she can for the, as you know, for all the people who want to be nosy and be all in her business, you know. <laughs> but I don't go to her clinic, so she's not violating any, right. what they call Hippies. them, HIPAA oh, laws or whatever. But anyway, Brittany is a very special part of my life in that way. And, um, yeah, I'm going to be in my heels on March, catch me. <laughs> and my whole point was I can oh, yeah. get dressed up and cute if I wanted to, but... What I really want to do, Britt, everybody does that. So yeah. I really wanted to be up my yeah. authentic self. Sometimes y'all catch me you in my catch drama. Me <laughs> in my pajamas some days. Right. Some days I'm dressed up, you know. Some days I need something done to my hair. <laughs> some days we smoke in trees, Britt. Some days. Some days. <laughs> I'm going to that. We Some will day. be after. It will be today. <laughs> that day. We just we let y'all know because we celebrating. We just celebrating yes. and bringing it in. That's what we do. The you last know what day, I mean? you know. The last days, yes. you know. And if some of y'all can't get with that, oh, my God. They said they smoking trees, you know. <laughs> okay. I don't know what to tell you. For all y'all over-religious, <laughs> zealous ones, I've been down that road. <laughs> I've been down that road. I know what it is. <laughs> I, I respect you and honor you for that. But this is just what I'm doing over here right now. Okay? This is what we doing. And we drink it tea. And we having fun. And we live in life. And we speak in. I speak affirmations. That's why everything is manifesting in our life. Now, I want to say one of my big manifestations, because I believe it's important to say it to another person. I'm going to hold Brittany's hand like this when I say it. So that. <laughs> we can get that energy. I'm going to tell her one of mine, and then she's going to tell me something. Okay. She wants to me. And then I'm going to let her share her experience of me to you. Because I think that's important. And I haven't gotten you on a video you have to talk yet. <laughs> like a little review. Because she's been dodging me and making excuses for like two years. So no. she's here now. And she's going to be doing Because she don't do the whole talking <laughs> thing. That was the old Brit. It, right. But this it's new Brit. 2.0. Come on. Yeah. That's what you get. That's okay. what she getting. Okay. That's what you get. So. One of my big ones <laughs> that I'm manifesting is the G-Wagon, which we talked about, right? Yep. Is the G-Wagon. Yes. I will be getting that because it can fit two car seats. For no, no. And Aaliyah. For the babies. And I want all black matte wood rims. And I will be bumping Rod Wave. Hey. A. Roddy. A little 50 set. I might yeah. take them back with some T.I. Yeah. And what, what I'm going to drop a few Marys. Hey. I need to have Baby. it. Baby. So okay. My energy mix. So, so it's gonna be in there. that's it. <laughs> okay. Energy mix. That's it. Better. All right. Yeah. So I will be getting a G-Wagon. I'm letting y'all know we're manifesting it. Yeah. And I'm bringing it closer to me. So what yeah. would be a good affirmation for that? One of yours, that's your book, or a new one? A new one. Okay. I'm go you know what? I'm going to make it up. Y'all Y'all hold me to it. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to put it in. I'm going to drop okay. it in. My new G-Wagon affirmation. Yeah. When I put it in, y'all will know who was here. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Now you do it. I got to hold her So hand. mine is manifesting this new job opportunity. Okay. Um, traveling. Yes. Yes, it's coming. Yes. Okay. Yes. It's, it's on its way to me. I already. love it. Yes. Like a travel. Yes. Beyond thing. Yeah. Right one week off one week. Okay. Yes. I love it. Yes, It's coming to it's, you. It is. You put it in motion? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's yours. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's and it. I talk to the people, everything in there. Y'all throw yes. some yellow hearts in the building. Yes. If you're coming in at this part, y'all got to put yes. yellow hearts. I'm going to go back out and go back in and refresh. But y'all have to put yellow hearts in. Yes. The building, okay? Because we just said something very vulnerable to y'all that we didn't have to, I didn't have to share about my G-Wagon, okay? 
It's something low with the frames, but it looks all right over here. It's just trying to skip out. Let me see. We have 58 minutes. See, on Instagram, you know, different ones do different things. Mm -hmm. um, on Instagram, at an hour, it kicks you out. Right. So then I have to always come back in, which is why I really don't get on Instagram that much. It be some crazies over there, too. You can't stop the crazies, like, from coming. And it just might come. One, one guy on there, he talk about, oh, your pink lips and all. What? Boy, we're not even talking about that. So... You know, I can't, like, play defense on that unless somebody's in there mm -hmm. to to block them. Right, so, right, yeah, yeah, about the pink lips. He was too funny. Anyway. Um, okay, Ella said, hey. Angie said, hey. Hey, hey so me and Britt yeah. going to put our, I'm going to start a post in the morning. Okay. Our, um, you know, and y'all get one, too. Something, y'all put it in the comments, okay? Yeah, something like that y'all. Manifestations y'all got going on. Yes. You know, what y'all tell us no one that y'all want to manifest so we can all yes. um put some yellow hearts in there, Brett. And everybody put in. Um, so we can get that energy up high and we can cause it's a difference between manifesting in a community. You know, you bring things closer to you by manifesting no, I don't know. in the Okay. <laughs> Britt is we lost with the this is my phone Everywhere. though, but she gonna put some I know you didn't. Was I'm, that Shay? Yeah, no, no. She I'm said saying. Android. No, she I didn't. Got iPhone. I don't know what you're saying. Oh, oh, I got an iPhone. Okay, fancy. I'm getting an iPhone. I've been too. talking fancy all day, but you know. Listen, what somebody gonna put me on their plan. That's what's gonna happen, and I'm gonna get an iPhone because that's the only reason why I can't get one, y'all, because they too much. Like I got a couple hundred, but it's like I don't got a couple thousand to just throw down on the phone, so. If y'all might put me on their plan, I'm just waiting, okay? <laughs> All right. We'll speak that into existence. Okay, speak it right in there, Britt. Britt yeah. said I'm getting it. Yes. I'm getting the iPhone. Y'all said I'm getting the iPhone. Okay. okay. Hold on. Okay. Britt, I'm putting my G wagon. Okay. I believe it's a 47. I don't want to put the wrong thing, y'all. I'm just going to put a G wagon. I think it's a something 47 series. I just know I like the G-Wag. Listen, I don't care if it's the 47, the 48, <laughs> or the damn 49. I'll be getting it. The big one. The big body. Big body. That fits me. It's big powerful. Body. It's like, you know, it's warrior-like. You know, can you see me in it? Black matte. I want it all black matte. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, I know I'm a little gash Buddha, so. I said gash Buddha. Yeah, we get Okay, <laughs> we guess, we ain't got booty, bougie. We got booty out over here, right? We Fancy doing shit only. Tell them, Brad. Fancy, Fancy shit only. Only. <laughs> only. All right, we got the energy healing. Okay, so I'm going to let Brad tell y'all about her experience okay, said, with Malika um, Leak or just having a mentor or just having me in your life. And then Brittany's going to hear me. We're going to show y'all some energy clearing products, which... Okay, let me tell them this first, Brit, yes. before you talk. Miss Ella said, um, what Miss Ella said? She's won't be able to um, travel and take vacations without limitations. I that is it. It's done, done baby. baby. We're going to have an ice information. Yes, we're going. We yes, are so going, going Miss Ella. You going. Well, where you want to go, Miss Ella? <laughs> tell us. Give where you want to go? Yeah, and one of these. And yes. give me a, um, is it a safe stick right over to the third box. It should be one already it's out because I had one out yet. Okay. I'm going to do some um, energy clearing products with y'all too. Um, all right. Um, let me tell y'all this. So oh. in the beginning of the year, I do all my protection and energy clearing products, which I didn't do them all yet. There's one more, which is called the Gree Gree Pouch. And if you know anything about um, African ancestry, a lot of Caribbean cultures um, and their ancestry, um, they do them also. Um, one of my spiritual teachers, Muriel, um, she did the Grigri pouch. And I was doing something like a Grigri pouch, but I wasn't calling it a Grigri pouch, right? And so anyway, she put me on to that. And so um, those um, may be coming, you know, in the next. I want to do them more before the spring equinox, right, which is coming up. But, however, I did some 
um, ancestral products that I do in the beginning of the year, only in the beginning of the year. This is the thing. People sometimes with my products, I used to have over 30 products, right? And what I learned from that is what I was telling you. I don't build products around based on what I want, right? Oh, I like them to have this. Maybe they should have the yogi tea bags. Maybe they should have the essential oils. I try to see what it is that they need. And so I learned through that experience they don't need all this shit. That's what I learned. They don't even want all of this. So it was just really not a waste of money because nothing is a waste. But we use the best high quality ingredients in our products and things like that. Grow them, um, get them um, distributed in from different farms and things like that. So what I decided to do was make things more exclusive, right? A few of this, a few of that. And so people sometimes think, even in my business, they'd be like, I might have a consult with them, and they might be like, oh, okay, I want to do it, but maybe they can't do it right now. And then they come back six months later, okay, I'm ready. And I'm like, I'm not doing that anymore. So same thing with these products. They're only for the beginning of the year, that first quarter, January, February, uh, really March, really January, February, really January, to cleanse out that stagnant energy in your life and to get it moving again, right? And so that's why they won't be, for all of the people who are asking me or who think they're going to be here next month, they won't be. And so tomorrow is the last day where I'm just having a sale. Britt's going to help me figure out how much we're going to sell them for. And I'm just having a sale, and they all must go. Every single one must go, okay? I don't care. And even if you don't have it, this is what I want to tell y'all too, and manifesting and affirmation. Sometimes you don't have it. You're like, I really want it, but I don't have it. Well, what do you have? Make an offer. You may not have 25, but you may have 10. Girl, I got 10. Can I get it? You never know. I might say, yes, you can get it. Well, I'll tell you when you won't get it, you won't get it for free if you're waiting on that day. Because Not because I don't want to give it to you for free, because believe me, I was the free Malika for at least 27 years. Mm -hmm. But I'm not the free Malika anymore, and let, here's why. Because if you don't pay for it, you don't value it. I don't care if you give me 25 cents. You're going to pay something because you know you got it of value. Okay, back to the energy clearing product. So you have experienced them. She's going to yes. talk about me. Then she's going to talk about the energy clearing products. I want to tell you what we have um, left. And I can see right now, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we got six um, of our love our self-love potions, okay? So we got six self-love. I'm sorry. We only got four because two of these or three of these are already sold. Take one out because one is for Keisha, if Keisha is on. One is for Keisha and one is for Kawana. Take another one out. So we really only got four, y'all. Five if somebody takes this one. No, no. I'm sorry. You bought somebody one too. Britt bought somebody one of us. Did you get the higher? Oh, um... That was for jazz. Yeah, which one did you buy? The self-love? Self-love. Okay, so sorry, y'all. We only got three. three. We only have three of the self-love potions um, left. And I'll show you what they look like. This has in it, I mean, this has got some of the most potent stuff that I use. Everybody knows I use real herbs. So this has got lavender in it. It's got hibiscus in it. I just could tell you what I see right now. Elderberry in it. This has got rosemary in it. This has got basil in it. This has got dead sea salt in it. Pink Himalayan salt in it. Um, rose, it's got rose in it, it's got another um, lavender Epsom salt in it, regular Epsom salt in it, this is a what we call a self love potion, it's 5 ounces, it's a 1 bath potion, so you take it and you dump, dump. that's my little no no, y'all already know what it is it's okay but no need, we at the end of it so you take it she wanted to say hi to y'all and um now, I'm not all that now with your little half corn rolled head. <laughs> I'm corn rolled the rest. And you take this and you dump it in the bath. And this will um, deal with feelings of grief, anxiety, depression, wholeness. It'll bring chamomile too. I forgot it's chamomile in here too. It'll bring all of those things um you know, in order, and you just basically, you, I, I'll walk you through how to do it. You're releasing all of the old things, and you're calling in all of the new things, and this is very good for energy clear, clear, clearing, and if you need to really feel that self-love. Can they see it? Do we hear the lights are going out, y'all, so that's why not. Can you hit that, um, one of those middle lights for me? That might help. Yeah. Yeah, that one. Okay. Aaliyah. You doing that on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> this is the self-love one, y'all. This is like a pinkish color, a purple color. I've got tons of videos on this. 
if you go to the Her Balance Naturals um, page. And this one was 25 but I only got three of them. So how much do you think? Britt is going to name the price. Whatever she say they are, that's what they are going to be. Yes. <laughs> what do you think? Whatever she said. And I'm not even going to fuss about it. Uh-oh. She over here spilling it. Well, what you think, Britt? Mm. We love the community. Yes. We so we're going to do it for them. But how much do we love them? <laughs> but don't let me get nine on it. Nine be like, mm -mm, $22. It's, 20, <laughs> it's 25 though. Now it's going to be like 22 15. All right, that's good. Britt said 15 $15. $15. You can have this um, potion. We only got three of them. If you want them, and I'll even do free shipping for y'all. Okay, and I don't do no free shipping because shipping is a lot. I spend the most money in our business. She wants to get up. She's going to come up on Brittany's lap, and she's going to see y'all. Okay, now Mimi's lap. Go with Britt. Okay, this one is 15, y'all. All right, now let me tell you about the other one. This is the bomb one. Now, of these, I got one, two, three, four, five. Six. I got six of these left. And this is the New Year's one. This is the New Year's blend. And this one is called Higher. And this one is bad. This is the one that will actually raise your vibration. You will feel it. Raise your vibration. This has got some of the other things that I said. Hibiscus. This has got elderberry. This has got marigold. This has got rose. This has got chamomile, lavender, dead sea salt, pink Himalayan salt, Epsom salt, um, rosemary is in this one, basil's in this one, and a whole bunch of other proprietary ones. That It's like 32 different herbs in here. And it definitely raises your vibration higher and cleanses out. This is one if you want to get rid of all of the stagnant energy. All right? And this one was 25 too, so I guess it'll be what, 15 too? All right, 15 too. Let me know if you want one. Um, I'll tell you where the cash at. Charlize is there. Say hi. Did y'all see Noni? Say hi. I was starting to braid her hair. And yeah, <laughs> she was running she from said, me uh -uh. to do the rest. So I'm going to do the rest in Bantu knots. Say hi, Noni, <laughs> since you just want to be all in the thing. Well, she is the sixth <laughs> generation of her balance. Hold it like this, boo. Show them. So you can get Mimi self love potion, $15. <laughs> Hello, $15. 15 Fifteen dollar. Tell them, boo. Okay, so fifteen dollars, y'all. Um, let us know that you want it in. Only way we gonna know is in the comments, cause we gonna go back and we gonna see. Jazz, you could do it for me. <clears throat> Anybody who is is Jazz still in? But if she isn't, um, we just gonna go back and grab your name and make sure that we get your um address. I'll send you the cash app. You gotta do it tonight. It's no waiting. Oh, I'm gonna get it tomorrow, sis. It's no sis. I'm going to get it tomorrow. It's tonight. Well, actually, the sale is tomorrow, but I'm telling y'all first. But when I go live tomorrow morning and tell the community I got such and such left, that's it. So if you want to give it, you know, listen, you only going to take, what they going to do with that $15, Brett? Nothing. Starbucks. Get, your, get yourself together over here. Okay. That's what you going to do. Now, Mama right. Britt done told right. y'all to get yourself right. together over get here. That's what you're going to do. One more thing, y'all. I got our ancestral blend of sage that I make this like my tribe, okay? And um, this has the pure lavender stick in it, and it has the rolls. Tell them, boo. It has the lavender sticks, and it has um, the rolls. I make this. I bind this. It's only for the new year, and this is $10. It's four inches. It's a fat one. This could last for months. If you sage, a, uh, um, you know, just a little bit every now and then, or if you sage like once a week like me, it still lasts a long time. We should have burned one. Uh, I got one somewhere. I'll get it, and we should have burned it before. We should have smudged before we started, but we didn't. But anyway, this is going to go for how much, Brett? I'm looking at it like, don't say nothing, Craig. It was $10. It was $10. I was going to say seven, but Britt said five, so you could get two for ten. Two for ten, we only got about, I don't know, but I'm thinking off the top of my dome. I started with like, um, it was about 50, so I might have like ten left. I might have ten left. It's just first come, first serve. 
So these are good, you know, for energy cleansing, all of the stagnant energy, all of the negative energy. You have people in your life who you feel like deposited negative spirits, demonic spirits in your house. Um, you can get some of this pure ancestral sage. It's not like the regular sage because I go through a ceremonial process through this. And, um, and we did that. If you want to check out the video, we did that um, when we did the honoring your journey ceremony. You can um, go back and watch that. So these are gonna be five, cause Britt said I was gonna go, but I was looking like you better See, say seven. At, I'm, I'm looking, looking like you, y'all better. Come Brittany on, looking out for y'all strong, but this has to go before the beginning of the month, okay? And that's it. It's not coming back until 2023. So don't call me later. Oh, I want to get that higher um up uh, path potion. Higher is going, and self love is going. Actually, the next one that I'm working on. It's called Night Night, N-I-T-E-N-I-G-H-T, because a lot of people have been um, getting at me about anxiety, depression, and sleep, insomnia, including myself, who suffers from that. So I'm going to do a Night Night bath potion. Boca. The wheels on the bus go. No, the mommy's on the bus go. Brittany know it. <laughs> the mommy's on the bus go all through the town. <laughs> That's funny, Mimi. So we're doing the night night bath potion, and I'm also doing the sleep butter, which is gonna have seven of the best sleep agents you can imagine. Which I can't tell you um, now. Oh, I'll tell you a few. Okay, valerian root, you know that one, of course. Um, you know lavender, of course. You know chamomile, of course. Um, it's going to have some margarine in it, of course, not margarine, like butter, margarine, I never can say it, um, properly, um, we're going to put some cypress in there, um, some other things, I can't tell you everything, because you'll be down to the, uh, place trying to get the essential oils and making it, um, but she said this, I'm just going to make my own night night, you can do that, but you won't be praying over it like me, you won't be talking to your ancestors over it like me, you know, this is like, I want to say from from the spirit realm, you know, because it really is. Everything that I make is quite divine. I don't just put things together and throw things together, which is why I don't have them sitting on the shelf somewhere. How many people call me like, uh, do you got uh, so I can swing? I'm like, no, it don't work like this. This is more like Burger King, made to order, have it your way. When you let me know you need it, that's when I make it. Now, I'm going to show you something, especially like for this. Now, you see this? You could... You can see it, Brett, right? You mm -hmm. see how it's still loose? Right. And I make sure these are airtight. That's why I wrap them in plastic. So it has like a corkscrew. If any air gets in the corkscrew, sometimes it tends to get hard. Now, y'all shouldn't be like that because you know I go through a process. But if you do, what you do is you take this and you put it in the microwave. You warm it up a little bit. Or you can just warm it under um, hot water. And, you know, or you can get a little scooper thing. I used to give little scooper things. You know, I used to give a lot of little extras. <laughs> but extras cost extra money. Right. So, anyway, um, but I, I think I'm going to do that again with the nighttime one. And um, then I wrap it okay. in plastic. And um, and that's okay. that. Okay, you want to get down now? Trying to get down. Okay, you need to get down. You want to get on my lap now or you want to get down? You just want to play with Brett? Okay, this is a real life live, y'all. So, anyway, um, I hope y'all will take advantage of those um, energy clearing products that we have. Um, you know I would never try to hustle you on that, and I don't get down like that. I just want you to have the best of what I have. And now I want Brittany. you got to get down now because Britt has to share. Brittany's going to share first about um, her experience with the products because she uses a lot of the products, yeah. even the butters, which... I started out Listen, with... Listen, she got this butter that she won't... <laughs> Y'all listening? That, yet. that she just... Okay, I'll be like, no, because she just only likes this yes. one scent. And I'll be like, I don't know. So <laughs> it's my signature. It's her, her. Okay, her. it's her signature. It'd be her. like, it's a winter scent, but she wear it in the spring, Every, the summer, and the fall. All of them. <laughs> Not all of them. <laughs> all of them. So we got <laughs> ladies. We got another lady, Stephanie. If Stephanie's on, Stephanie got a signature scent too, which is... What was the purple one? Martini. Lavender oh, martini. Yeah, that one. She yeah, wants like lavender one. martini. I got you, Steph. Mm -hmm. I know she wants oh, oh, She wants lavender martini again. No, you had something different for your Aries. 
I also no, make sense according to your astrology. Um, but listen, we're not doing that right now. Right now, we are doing the night night, which is the next thing to come out. All right, you gotta get down. Go with mommy. Come on, cause Britt Britt gotta talk. Auntie Britt gotta talk. Okay, <laughs> you can come back later. Let her talk. Okay, get down. So my uh, introduction to this wonderful lady was, oh, that was doing um, <laughs> dialysis at work. So it started off with um, me having a itching. I was just itching for no reason. And she I came in. I about that. Yeah, you came in with my signature um, butter on. And I was like, ooh, you smell good. <laughs> and oh, my like, goodness. For real, what's the itching? Yeah. yeah. I said, what you got on? <laughs> and she was like, I make this. I was like, oh, okay. I spent so much money with her. I told her it. I need no to cap. Um, I don't know what, but a loyalty customer. Hey, She's the VIP. I was like every everything you made. I was like, oh, I need it. <laughs> I need it for real. She did that for yes. real. When was, I, it's, I'm it's sorry to interrupt quality. you. When I did my end of the year thing, you know, in QuickBooks, <laughs> I was like, Britt, look how much you spent with the company. It was hundreds. Yeah, it could have been a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> but right. at that time, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was it was like I bought everything, but it was everything that I needed at the time. And then it went from buying of uh, the butters and scrubs to um, uh, business um, guidance because I have my own business, Sweet Birds Creations. Bakery, Tell him, you girl. know, and Plug it. she been when I tell you the VIP, MVP, everything. When I tell you for my business, cause without her it would have been like I was struggling, still struggling, but that's because of me and my mindset, positivity over here. Mm -hmm. So it's all because of her, you know. And then um, from the business to um, the herbs because I want to learn more about herbs and herbology I just started her class last month so you know I'm about to get into that and the I speak affirmations the higher oh yeah for New Year's I'm about I, to break, tell them I got this with my sage honey when I tell you that bad was everything like I had um, meditation I had my music on I had my whole little ambiance it was awesome and the things that came to me after that bath it's just like out of this world I got things to do and it's all because of this one right here I'm telling you it's y'all better get you some Listen, y'all better get y'all some. I'm hungry, okay. Brittany. <laughs> oh my God, those things you said about me. I can't believe it. Like you it. you <laughs> would do that. Why? Yes. I love you. It's all true. It's I love true. Brittany. When I tell you this right here, y'all better get y'all some. No cap. Because you know, a lot of times these people be capping. I'm telling you, no. like. Y'all know it. They be like, oh, natural. Grown so much. I have grown so much that I can tell it's, it's crazy. In a little bit of time that we started. When did we start our girls' journey? group? Yeah. Like a year ago? No, May. Because that's when we moved. Yeah, May. Yeah, May. And, and that's I what. Y'all can't be a part. That's <laughs> our little private. If you live in Charlotte. You can hit us up. Yeah. Now, I tell them surrounding that. areas. <laughs> if it's not a good fit for you, it's just not going to be a good fit for you, right? We don't just include people like you got to actually be on the same vibration. And right. Same energy. We same energy. The same positivity. No craziness. Everybody go through that shit. Right. Exactly. The, no negativity. Put it Period. Like Period. We, we don't do that. Period. This is only high vibes, you know. We support each other in the most 
delicate way. You know, it's very sacred. It's a it sacred is. sister circle. It is. You know, we cry. We we know each other's you know weaknesses and vulnerabilities, and it's a no judgment zone. You know right. what I mean? Because we all go through different things at different times. You know, and especially me. You know, I'm like, mm-hmm. and everybody knows I don't like to grieve publicly. I'm like, no, I'm crying in my room. I don't like to ask for help. I don't like to say I'm hurting. Yeah. I don't, none of them That's things. Me. I've seen it in me. Right? <laughs> That's me too. Uh, and so I'm doing better though because I have a community. I know, okay, I could call on any one of them at any time and be a lifeline. And sometimes I'm not going to be fake. You know, as a leader, I'll be like, I don't want to do that because I don't want to burden them. How can I burden them if I'm the one that's supposed to be mentoring them and helping them? So I don't like to a lot, you know, which is why I have other elders and counselors to go to, right? Because I don't believe on, we used to say in the church community, um, you know, if you were a pastor or whatever, you know, you have sheep. And I don't believe on, I don't believe in bleeding on the sheep. There's a, a difference saying, okay, I need a lifeline and just, oh my God, Brittany, and just tell her all my problems and woe is me. I don't bleed on the sheep. You understand what I'm saying? But I know that there is a lifeline there if I just get discovered, and especially with her and with a lot of the other me- me- members, some of them in our community, because they did come through dialysis. You know, she was my caretaker, which means my literal life is in her hands. So if I could trust her with my life, Every day, then I certainly could trust her with some of my sister secret circles, sister circle secrets. secrets. That's a tongue twister. Right. Say it ten times. Sister circle secrets. Sister circle secrets. Because that's a sister circle. Okay, I feel that right. So um, I'm getting hot. Is you? I know. I'm getting a little. Now, did you turn the heat on? Oh my gosh! Would you mind? Oh, you on the floor? I was gonna say, turn the fan on for me. I see you taking some pictures. <laughs> um, it's a little hot, y'all. But, um, yeah, so I'm just, like, I'm excited about the future. You excited should... about February? Oh, yeah. What's going to be your juice future. for tomorrow? Uh, what are you going to do? I uh, forgot I had one more thing to tell y'all. Uh, but I'll wait till February because I don't want to overwhelm y'all. She don't know. Uh, it's going to be a juice. I did see one, um, a kidney liver cleanse. Okay. Juice. Okay, so you're going to go with a pre-made one tomorrow? Well. Or you going to make it? I don't know. It's still up in there. Now, I got recipes. Y'all know for days. So if y'all want me to put some juice and recipes on it, I got a whole group that I used to do this specifically in. So I'll just jump over to that group, grab them off of there, yep. and drop them in here. If y'all want right. me to put some yep. in there, okay, mm-hmm. y'all just let me know. Put a, put a yes if you want me to put some in and I could put some in too. Now I'm telling you what I'm going with tomorrow. I had this, you won't believe it. I couldn't believe it from just juice. Mm-hmm. I think it was just juice and you can order it about five, six, about five to eight dollars per thing. Oh, okay. And guess what I had? Okay. A beet latte. Mm-hmm. It was called a red velvet latte. And I'm thinking red velvet, <laughs> right? They tricked me. They done tricked me the down beet. to the just juice. But you know you can um make red velvet with beet. That's how it was originally made. Are we making it or something? I'm just saying. That's how it was. Because it was this show on Netflix. Um, Sister Wives. Sister Wives. Yeah, that's how it was originally made. Okay. Yeah, that's how it was originally made. Because it was a beet latte. And then you put the beet in the latte. And then you put the beet in the latte. And then you put the beet in the latte. And then you put the beet in the latte. And then you put the beet in the Foods from our history. Like, oh, yeah. I think I saw that one. Did you see it? When it was What's the guy name? and he was going around doing African American. Him and is a lady. That too. lady. Yeah. Yeah, she was um, from Panama, I uh-huh. think. And they were doing, okay, yeah. I and did. Mm-hmm. The Red Velvet Cake was originally made from, the from the Red Boots. And beets. Yeah. They had this other interesting thing, I don't know if you knew about the sweet potato, which is not those sweet yams. That you see now? No, was it the yam or the sweet potato? Either, no, it was the yam, which is central to African. And all them oh, African, yam. it was yam. Yeah. But when they brought it over here, I think they tricked it to be a sweet, sweet potato. potato. Yeah, Something like that. The same, they're like, not the same. They're not the same. better than the sweet potato. Right. And, they're, and they so huge. Like, you can tell a yam from sweet And they had looked like an elephant's foot, remember? Yeah. They had looked like, this This show, we're going to find it. And yeah. put it in it the thing good. for you. It was good, that was a good on show. Netflix. That was Another good one show. I love, I don't know if you had gotten to, was The Chef's Table. 
They got like four or five episodes. Now, this one is the best of the best. It's like the best of the best chefs in the world. But their stories be remarkable. Mm -hmm. I just, oh, my gosh. There was one lady that was from um, somewhere in Asian country, and she actually was a monk. And she lived up like in the Himalayan mountains. But they always brought her down because the food that she was giving the monks was healing them. And so they were bringing her down to the colleges to heal them and different stuff. That's the type of stuff I like. So I'm probably going to watch it again tonight. I've watched yeah. all four or five um you know, um, seasons of it, but it's called Chef's Table. I think it's called Chef's Table. I want to get the right thing and you drop the link in here for y'all. got us hot. <laughs> yep. Yeah, you it's our it. energy. Plus, the mm -hmm. tea is kicking in, honey. Yeah. The immunity stress. But I want to just tell them one thing. Oh, okay, so my juice tomorrow, I'm going to do the beet juice. Okay. Okay, they have one at Whole Foods called, um, which is what I had told my daughters to get after they gave birth, which is called Mommy Booster. Because it helps you, like, after you, you, you know, your hormones and everything like that bring everything into balance. But it's really, really good. and gives you that burst of energy that you need. Now, I hate a beet. Growing up, my mother used to eat real beets because y'all know she was a vegetarian. I remember my dad. Shh. Applesauce. Give it to me. You ate two of them already. You already ate two. You ready for dinner right now? You hungry. <laughs> <laughs> She's hungry now, y'all. It's about dinner time. We're going to get ready to go. Off. But it was, um, she she had real beets, and she used to try to make me eat them, and I was be like throwing up. I hated them. But now I'm elder. I'm not older no more. I'm right. elder. Yeah, now I'm elder, and I'm drinking beet juice. So I'm going to have some um, beet juice. going to be mine tomorrow. I'm going to put the, um, I'm sorry, on the first we're starting. Tomorrow, I'm going to come back tomorrow night probably. Yeah, I might do it in the day. Whenever I have energy, it'll be tomorrow. And I'm going to give y'all some juices, and we're just going to go over the protocol now that this is over. Okay, so I'm still going to be putting affirmations in every day. But now they're just going to be coming really out of spirit. Okay? One affirmation. No, no will. Be a nice girl for the rest of the night. No, no, no. She said no, no, no. Y'all throw us some yellow hearts. But no, no is affirmation. She said, no, 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 no. So that's all I want to say. I love y'all. Thank y'all for joining us for this celebration. Now we really Thank going to start celebrating that y'all are not here. We probably going to get the munchies. We just needed to order a pizza or something. something. But <laughs> it's lit, y'all. It's lit. I, yo, I see y'all put over 80 comments. So Thank we are so you. sorry we oh, could not I'm respond. Sorry. Yeah, it's 75 comments in the chat. So... By the time we get finished responding to them, it'll be double that. Who's got the number? <laughs> Who's the mathematician? 75, 75. Quick. 14, 50. 150. 150. 150. Was it 150? I think it's 150, y'all. But anyway, it'll be 150 because I'm going to respond to each and every one of y'all's comments. You. Okay? I love y'all so much. Thank, Thank you for joining the journey. And make sure that y'all sign up for my YouTube channel. You don't have to have a, I ain't got no account. You don't need no account. Just subscribe when I put the link. Hit that link that I put and hit subscribe because that's where, you know, I'm going raw. I'm just, you're going to see other sides of me, you know. And I, I'm just giving that warner, um, what you call that thing when you warn them? A trigger warning. Trigger warning. A trigger warning right now, okay? I don't know which Malika you're going to get, all right? you It could be Whatever any one. Wake up. Whatever one decides to do a video, but <laughs> it's going to be many other aspects of my life, okay? Yes, no, so it's going to be good. That's why it's Malika like, Speaks TV, because I'm going to be speaking. It's going to be good. Either it's going to be good, right? All right, so, but if you come and you try to leave some bullshit, <laughs> you will be blocked and deleted. I'll never even see it. I was telling my daughter who's going to start a bomb YouTube channel too, so I need you to follow her when yeah. I drop the links, um, that Thank you can you. filter the comments so that you never yeah, even yeah, see yeah. them. Like, I'll see that you put some bullshit, but then I'll just delete it, and nobody else will ever see it. One time, my last ratchet story, <laughs> when I was following this cult, y'all know who it was if y'all been with me for a long time, I won't say their name, but I was following this cult, and I was doing a lot of rescue with the women in the cult, and um, I had all these crazy trolls that was following one. We used to call him a crack Ted, because his brain was a low crack, and he had got, just started, like, stalking me, like, everywhere on all my platforms, and I had this crazy girl from the Bronx. She would be real angry, and she would just be out there talking about me. I don't know, me and her was friends in her head, or she was a crazy girl. 
And then there would be other people who were on their team. Y'all better be quiet. With okay. Brittany and a no-no over here. Okay. And then, anyway, I was telling my ratchet story. It would be their trolls, and they would come on and leave me like a six-paragraph and tell me all about myself, what you need to do, how you need to say it, what you need to do, about they give you unsolicited advice, and they swore I wore a wig. They used to call me Miss Wighead. I'm like, y'all so ignorant. You don't even know me, Mrs. Horse. They would make up shit, terrible comments. They would be like, the horse lady, I, I mean, I don't understand how I got that. And um, one lady said she wished I would die. Oh, Another lady said the lupus was my karma. I mean, these motherfuckers go in. Excuse me, but that's what they are. They go in, and they be just talking about you and doing... YouTube is a whole nother animal. Like, you can't have to... Um, what do they call it? Um, sensitive. You can't be sensitive over there but i was born for that they didn't know like i'll be laughing at that like you so dumb we never gonna see your comment you know and you just delete it and go on with your life i don't even let it get in my spirit now sometimes i let them get on there and then you'll find it'll be people who love you will argue back with them don't say that about that you don't know and they be arguing that like no so i have four thousand subscribers and most of them i'm not gonna lie came from that you know, that whole thing. And so I stopped following that, um, stop, stop writing on it and stop making videos about it. And then most of the girls we found out just really wanted to be over there. So it was like rescuing them was like getting null and void. And so, um, and they still over there. <laughs> and um, so um, I stopped. And when I stopped, I canceled that channel and I got a whole new one, which is Malika Speaks TV. So that's the new one. And that's why I'm asking y'all to subscribe. Do you think I would be? Pleading with you? No, I had subscribers, but it was ridiculous. We don't want the energy. Exactly, we're not doing that. It's not the right. So I see now a lot of y'all are coming on. All right, you want to read some comments, or I'll read some comments. Okay, y'all got anything to say? I'll just start from here. So Andy said those leaders are self-imposed. I think she was talking about when we were talking about the leaders. Not only did I read it, she recites it. She writes it. She's owning it with community and unity. Okay, who else? I can't go back up. Oh, let me go in here to where it says just comments. We had a good time, y'all. I'm tired yes. now. I feel like, you know, when I come down, <laughs> I know it's over. It's like, okay, we done. We had a good time. Spirit tonight. done. We had a good time. My phone ain't even working, so I can't even read no hey, comments. Man. You got some? Okay. I don't got my glasses on. Oh, Lord. You were, but yo, y'all was lit in. I can't yeah. even read them. For real, y'all, I'm not going to lie. I don't have, you know, when you come down off of a spiritual, um, like, that's how it happens for me. I'm, like, coming down now. So, I'm, like, yeah, I can feel it. coming back into my body. So, I can't read anything at the moment. But I love y'all so much. Love y'all. Thank y'all for being with us. I think See we got to put our faces together to make a cute. Yes, all day. 